Hello and welcome back to another video with methods. This time it's about tileable triple piston extenders in all directions. So a few days ago I needed an upwards facing tileable triple piston extender and yeah I couldn't find anything really nice on YouTube so I made my own ones. So let's just demonstrate those. They can all work independently from each other or at the same time. And yeah, that's the upwards version, and yeah, let's just get right into the downwards version. I think this is the world's smallest possible tileable uh, triple piston extender downwards. As far as I can tell, uh, before that sky flips was the smallest one, and that is 5x6, this one is 4x4. Four four. So yeah, let's also check that one out. Of course, yet again, they can all work independently from each other or at the same time. And yeah, lastly we have the sidewards version, which is also stackable, no problem. And yeah, I will do a quick tutorial on all three of these, and I will also show you what type of pulse you need to attach to that and how you get those pulses. And yeah, be right back. And we are back at the upwards facing triple piston extender. So you want to get things started with three observers like this. There's a trapdoor here, lock on top and to the side, two tick repeater here, three tick repeater here, and now just make a little torch tower, place your pistons, this needs to receive a four tick for it, some tick pulse. half our extension and here's the other half and if we now just put a button on top of that this just works okay so now let's quickly do the downwards version which is even simpler I get a little shape like this going, put a rail on top of here, downwards facing observer here, sidewards here, get your three pistons, and you want a full delay repeater here and a repeater on the standard setting here, and now we need our button already, quickly reset the pistons correctly. And that's it already. Okay, now let's do the sidewards version as well. I have an observer here, observer like this. into a block then we want a 4 tick repeater here sorry this is a 3 tick 4 tick repeater here 4 tick repeater here 2 tick repeater here fill the gaps with observers now remove, remove those pistons again and put a row of blocks here. And now you can place the pistons and your block. And of course your button. So now we have to quickly reset our pistons again. And it should work. Perfect.
And of course this one is also tileable and stackable. So you could just put the next one of these straight on top of that. Yeah, and lastly I will show you guys how you can actually automate this without pressing a button because that is kind of useless. And yeah, first of all I would like to say this one here can run with a 9 redstone tick pulse and both of these here need a 10 redstone tick pulse. And yeah, I will quick, quickly show you guys how to do that, which is actually rather simple. Get things started with a torch. Now I'll get a lamp and an observer. Now we need a comparator, normal piston, piece of sand. Then we need some sort of inventory to give the comparator something to read out. Best off with a dropper here to save on some lag. Now we can just add a repeater here. So in this case this would give a 5 tick pulse. But it would activate this lamp and lamps do stay on for 4 extra game ticks. So 2 extra redstone ticks. So this would already be a 7 redstone tick signal. But we want a 9 one so we're gonna just add 2 ticks right here. And if we now do this we will get a 9 redstone tick pulse right here. Or better say, we will get two redstone, two one tick pulses, 9 ticks apart. Which is exactly what we want. So for this one, you need the 9 tick pulse, and for these two you need a 10 tick pulse. Or better say, this one would also work with a 10 tick one, but it's faster with a 9 one. So if you needed 10 ticks, you just add one tick here, and if you needed 9, you just leave it like that. Yeah, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. And yeah, bye bye.